What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna look at something different, it will be kind of tutorial. So I got this powerful water cooling pump from Barrow, but uh, actually it came uh, with RGB lighting not working. So um, I thought it would be useful to shoot a video in order to show you guys how you can fix and replace the RGB strip in your uh, pump. So this is obviously valid for Barrow pump as well as any other pump since uh, basically the procedure will be quite the same so let's find out okay so this is my barrow pump I took uh, a few months ago uh, the model number is SPB 17 P2 it's uh, basically a great uh, pump I replaced uh, my original uh, EK water block uh, pump with this one since uh, it has uh, double the power and it's basically the same price so this is rated at um, 17 uh, baht as uh, total power a rotating speed of, uh, of 4000 rpm its uh, maximum lift is uh, 5 uh, between 5 and 6 meters it has a lighting system version 2 which should be addressable RGB but unfortunately uh, this RGB strip here doesn't work that's why I decided to do this video as uh, I basically received from Barrow uh, the replacement so I won't try I want to try to uh, replace it and see if that works the maximum flow is very high is uh, 960 uh, liter per hour and the pump line length is uh, 60 centimeters so I will now try to open it and replace this LED strip. First thing to do is to remove the reservoir. In this case I have a 90 millimeter one. So this is 90 millimeters. And now we should screw from the bottom. Okay, now we're ready to open it. So let's leave the pump aside for now. Okay, now we should just be able to replace uh, the strip light. It's uh, adhesive, yeah, it looks like they gave me different sides. So we should cut it here. Okay, we can now continue inserting the new LED strip in here. And then we will just get rid of the excess. Okay, like so, and it's done. We are ready to assemble everything back now. You can also put some glue in case needed. Now the reservoir. Okay, and it's ready to be mounted in our loop. So let's do that and check if that works. Okay, now before mounting, we need a couple of things. This is the barrow adapter, and then since I already have LED strip on addressable light import and I only have one port on my motherboard we're also gonna need this which is simply a splitter 
splitter specifically done for addressable RGB lighting and I think it's alimented by the serial data power port So this is simply an extended cable and this is the actual splitter which uh, has uh, an adhesive behind so you can place it directly on your case. Okay, and as we can see here, we have our barrel pump fully working with addressable RGB lighting, synced with everything else through the Aura software from ASUS. So that's all for today friends, I hope that was useful as usual and let me know in the comments below in case you have any question for me or any suggestion in general. Also please uh, hit the like and subscribe button in order to help me and appreciate my work and let me know in case you have any particular requests for any future video. I hope you enjoyed, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.